So today we're going to be drawing just a really, really simple guy. Uh, this is all done on the Slate 2, which is this wonderful graphic tablet converter um, from ISKIN. I always call them ISKIN. I don't know how they want their name to be called. Um, but it's this really cool thing. I think it's about $180, $179, something like that. $179.99. Take off that one cent to make it look cheaper. Um, but I, I know I'm making fun of them, but it is actually a really good tablet. You draw on pencil with pencil, pen, paper, marker, right on the tablet with, well, on the paper on the tablet, and it gets all your pen strokes. Um, You'll see that the uh, whenever they shift over to the eraser, that is using the mouse because it's just easier to control. Uh, because the way the tablet works is you put a ring on your utensil, so you would put it on the on the uh, pen that you're using or on the pencil. Now, what's going on right here is we're just sketching out a really really rough kind of shape. This is just a very basic face. Um, that's actually supposed to be shaded in gray, but since this won't be the final drawing, we're not going to worry too much about details, which is also why we're not going to worry about that line on the leg or why we won't worry about the marks on his face. Right now, we're just getting a very basic shape. Uh, we're going for a kind of chibi look for this basic shape because chibi characters, while super fun, they are also very easy to draw in terms of speed. Uh, and it will help for the final figure. Um, so right now, he is actually just sitting and going, hmm, does this look good? Every now and then you need to just take a step back from the art, even when you're doing the rough outline and go, I don't think this looks good. Uh, which is why we go back to the construction lines. We do the, I do them in uh, blue or sometimes red, usually light blue, because it's just so vastly different from seeing the black lines of the final edit or the final sketch that it's very easy to see what you started from and what the actual shape is that you want to make. Uh, for the torso, again this is very sped up, I'm recording this after the fact, but the torso was made by making two very basic torsos, the triangle shape and the round circle oval shape and then using the elements of where they intersect to form the actual shape of the torso. Uh, this is a very easy thing to do. It helps you get the bodies of your characters a lot better. For example, if you have a character with a really wonky shape, draw all of the different shapes, the complete shapes, in your construction lines. That way, when you go through the final thing, you only hit the lines or the outline that you actually want the final shape to be and then your figure will look a lot nicer once you remove the construction lines. Uh, legs, easy. When you're doing really, really simple legs, or even when you do complicated legs like we'll see uh, in another video, um, just changing the music. Always listen to music when you draw. It's, it's just great. It just helps you get the, the creative flow going out. But the legs are always usually the easiest parts. Arms and hands are a little difficult because of the way you draw the torsos and shoulders. Right now you can kind of see like this figure has his chest thrust out in front of his shoulders which makes the arms a lot easier to draw. Um, again this came from the original figure that we drew on the left uh, where you can again see how his shoulders and his arms are coming are behind his main body. Um, like I said, drawing those really simple figures of what you want your final character to look like, it just makes it that much better. Uh, I actually did the simple figure with a face because I like drawing faces. So, you don't need to do that. Because uh, as you can see, I'm, this little detail I'm adding was actually a spur of the moment thing. He was just going to have a very... Um, robotic look to it but when I drew the lines out I decided you know what it looks good this is now Franken guy he's a very uh because his face is kind of sewn together those are the stitch lines and he's a very big monstrous looking person uh, but now this is basically it uh, we can see uh, 
the, also with the slate, you can see uh, the complete replay of what you're doing. Just cleaning up a little things here. Um, I'm going to do some more in a different program called GIMP 2.0, which is basically like a, um, a free version of Photoshop. I've used both Photoshop I prefer, but you know, GIMP is free. So if you're just an artist practicing skills, um, and you just want to be able to present some artwork that looks nicer than the rough sketches with eraser marks all over it, uh, and you don't have the money to buy, say, like a graphic tablet, or you uh, don't have the money to get like a, an iPad or even the Surface, the, or, or to afford higher end, better uh, online programs, not online, uh, computer programs for making art, GIMP 2.0, great resource. Uh, boom, just clean up the face. Again, like I said, I'm going to clean it up way better. Uh, the slate is actually really, really good at capturing pin strokes that you don't even see that you make. Um, at first, I thought that the that the slate was just a little buggy with its sensors, and that it was making me think it was thinking that I was touching the paper when I really wasn't. But when I went back and looked at my original sketch on the paper, I realized. Huh, it does. It actually it caught these little tiny faint marks that I did as I was just picking my pencil up, it is, which is really amazing because it's something that the human eye wouldn't see, or at least I wouldn't see as, a, as an amateur artist. Probably a professional would. That's why they're, they're professionals. Um, so now I've disconnected the slate from my computer. It connects via USB, and I'm putting the image on GIMP. Right before I realized that I accidentally ex exported the uh, the uh, image with the construction line still on it, we don't want those. Uh, I save it to the original file because it's good for me to go see what I did, the steps that I took, which is another great reason the Iskin tablet is really good for artists learning how to draw because it has that replay function where it can show you everything that you did step by step. Um, right now. So again, the Iskin tablet is really good at capturing your pen strokes. Bad part is that when you try to send it out as higher end photos, it looks good in like a small photo file, but if you want to show it off like you're trying to show someone a potential client, or if you're actually making a piece for a client and you want your piece to be high resolution, then the Iskin is more of a sketching beginner's not beginners, uh, it is good for beginners, but also like um, it's basically your rough outline. You always sh should take it to your computer and touch up everything. As you can see, the resolution difference between the original lines from the original image that we uploaded and the lines that I'm going back over with the pen tool in GIMP is just vastly different. You can actually see a difference in the color of the black, even though I'm just using normal black. I'm not using some weird fancy color that I made online. Um, but yeah, just cleaning up all of these lines. Once you, uh, once I zoom out, you're gonna see a huge difference. This is part is kind of tedious, so let's turn on the music.
so we are done. This is the final version of Franken Guy. We started with this really simple concept. We want a, he a head, roundish body, big arms hidden behind the torso, and this kind of triangle shape for the legs. Um, I didn't draw that. I just kind of, once you draw this same type of legs over and over again, you get used to what their general shape are going to be. Uh, but ignore this. We move on. This image is actually done completely on the slate. Uh, my mouse got rid of a couple of the little uh, pencil marks that are left over from my hands dragging as I'm drawing. Um, and it's honestly, like you can, as you saw in the previous part of the video, I can just erase the construction lines because they're on a different layer. And the image would actually look pretty okay. You would be able to say, like, this is a good rough sketch of a character. Um, but then you can see a huge difference between the final version of Franken Guy and this really rough sketch. It's only, even with with the construction lines, it's almost like this character is more three dimensional in a way because the difference between the tones of the lines and the uh, negative space of the white really create this pop feeling with the character. Um, I gotta say, for the hundred seventy nine tab graphic tablet really enjoy what it did um i couldn't have done this i technically could have done this by like faxing in paper and then going completely in photoshop or gimp and erasing all these lines or using some sort of levels trick um but just being able to draw just pencil on paper immediately sitting at my desk and get to this version is i think is really incredible but that's all for now see you guys next time